Happy, happy Thursday. It's Lizzie over at the Dorm Room TV. I have a lot to get through this video, so let's get started. Today is Thursday, which means that as you're watching this, I'm probably taking my lab exam, so wish me luck. Things have been kind of rough over here lately with uh, a lot of stress in my school life and a lot of stress in my personal life. But my good friend Charlie told me when you reach the end of your rope, tie a knot at the end and hold on, which is exactly what I plan to do. But a lot of good stuff has been going on too. I got this cool scarf today because it's getting really chilly over here, which is quite a drastic change in weather from the 100 degrees I've been putting up with for the last two months. So naturally, I'm freezing all the time now, even when I'm indoors. But today, I did a field observation for my education class at a middle school, and I sat in a sixth grade science class, and they um, just had a really effective lesson going on about kinetic potential energy and other kinds of energies. Meanwhile, I got to sit at the back of the class with all of the class pets, which included a whole bunch of hissing cockroaches, and this bearded dragon lizard which looked an awful lot like a horned frog and go figure the lizard's name is Lizzie. really wanted to take y'all outside today and it is really beautiful outside but it's really windy which I think can make it difficult for me to film so another time. Speaking of the weather changing, it rained the other night for just about 15 minutes maybe a little bit more. It was at night so Olaf, my best friend, flies in here and is like look out your window and of course Shelby, her roommate and our best friend, is dancing out the rain so naturally what am I gonna do I'm gonna go join her this is what happens when Texas students um, go outside to do a rain dance and belt out Disney songs let's see you guys talked about a lot this week and your videos really cheered me up Christian was talking about the new Kirby game coming out but I'm really excited for the new Animal Crossing coming out next year Ah, college is a lot like Animal Crossing, which is a really exciting concept for me. Because you make all these friends, and you decorate your room, and you get different clothes. Basically, I'm living my ideal life. Will, you were talking about getting songs stuck in your head, and though I can't really think of any that have been really bothering me. When I'm studying, I'm usually listening to Cirque du Soleil, which is the music you hear playing right now. Michael Bordley is busy getting into music school, so his music will return probably next video. As for dubstep, I don't know. I'm not really interested in it, and I don't really think I like it. So I see we have some more questions about our respective college lifestyles. And for my eating habits, I've found that when I go grocery shopping, I try to force myself not to touch anything that's potentially unhealthy. Last night I had an Oreo, and it was like my first Oreo in like months. My dining hall is really good, I really like the food there, and they have a pretty big variety. But in my room, I have pretzels, apples, bananas, yogurt, water, juice boxes. That's pretty much it. I've been trying to eat more sandwiches, because I'm not really big on salads, and soup has been a big part of my diet as well. As for the freshman 15, I haven't gained it yet. I haven't gained any weight since I've gone to college. However, I feel like I'm getting a little flabby. My dining hall supplies dessert 24-7, so that hasn't been helping. We have an amazing rec center, and I haven't set foot in it to exercise. It's really a shame, and I'm trying to change it. But it looks like I will be getting some exercise because I have joined TCU's inline hockey team. I've never played hockey before, but I've rollerbladed for nine years. I will be playing UNO, LA Tech, and some schools around Texas, so look out. I am the only girl on the team so far. My primary way of relieving stress is to either take a nice nap or to go sit outside in the sunshine and get some reading done. Christian, I have a lot of cool dreams to tell y'all about, but I'm gonna save it for another video when I have more time. So here's a very special episode of Horny and Pony. Hope y'all have a good week. Ian and Morris will see you tomorrow.